really excited. I mean, it's this is, you know, it's a labor of love, and I'm excited. Well, I mean, these teenagers are, you know, <laughs> we've all been teenagers at some point in our lives, me very recently. Um, but I think that's what's so relatable about Sue Ann. Uh, I think we've all been on the outside looking in at some point, you know, especially as kids. Uh, we all feel like outsiders at some point, so that's why I think it's relatable. Oh, I'm thrilled for this lady here, for Octavia. I'm, this is a big movie for her, and it's something no one's ever seen her do before. It's very disturbing and a lot of fun, and, and uh, I'm really proud of her, and I'm excited to be a part of it. Cause Tay Taylor and I have a tradition of um, I'm in every single movie he does, no matter if I cross in the background or say one line or whatever. It's sort of our fun tradition that we've done. And Ma was the last movie that we were able to do that with because then we both got busy and I couldn't be in everything he did. But we had a, we had a, a long uh, a long stretch there. You know, I'm going to see the movie for the first time tonight. I knew what she. I saw some dailies along the way. Tate shared with me, and it's it's freaky. It was it was very strange to see my friend uh, play a part like this. It was really disturbing. It was kind of like I was like, oh my god, this is uh, this is not the Octavia I know and love, and and everyone's going to be surprised by what she does in this, and and it's going to be a big game changer for her. And a psychotic uh, woman, played by Octavia Spencer, who likes to let high school kids party in her basement. And uh, at the beginning, it seems very innocent, but as we move later on in the movie, it's definitely not innocent. Yeah, I mean, you always are seeking to do something that makes you stretch and um, is a little different and scares you a bit. And nothing does that more than a psychological screwed up thriller. And then to be with my friend, you know, she was so frustrated with being offered the same role over and over, and, and it happens, and it was just so great when I met with Jason Blum and Blumhouse, and they had this script, and, and they embraced the idea of flipping it on its head. That was what was fun about the tone of this piece, and the uh, various themes and stories. You know, it's, it's 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 about mothers and daughters. It's about single parents. It's about you know making wrong choices and good choices, it's about being complicit, it's about survival. I mean, so with all those themes in a movie, you, 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 you can usually find a place to plug in somewhere. So excited, so excited. I, I mean, you don't get a better combination. Oh, hey, Allison, casual. Um, you don't get a better combination than Octavia Spencer and Tate Taylor. They've been best friends for 25 years and their chemistry, like, oh, they're, they're a dream team. Mm -hmm. It's such a psychological thriller. I think it's more on the psychological than on the, you know, paranormal activity. And it really leaves you thinking. There are a lot of little messages throughout the entire film that everybody can pick up on something different. Yeah, yeah. Yes, um, I think Tate just wanted to make sure it was so authentic that it came across for anybody who wanted to watch it. It, it would be a conversation starter for young kids, parents, a cool movie for, you know, teens cool movie for young adults it's just an awesome movie I'm sorry it's just awesome I, I think um, everybody should go see the movie and it, we made it in good fun we made it to scare people so enjoy it. yeah it's a really intelligent horror movie it cover I mean um, bullying childhood trauma um, there's so many elements that people could relate to today and then there's flashbacks to the 80s which similar themes um, but it's a thriller you know um, oh, I just love Octavia is so incredible in this role because she doesn't even give her anything she just goes really aloof she's really great being wicked yeah I think that's what I love so much about it it's so many things uh, I think psychological thriller sums it up pretty well there's, it's a really nice slow burn, there's lots of character development, the psychology is super prevalent, and uh, I think horror fans are going to be really excited, but there's also so much more that, uh, you know, that you can take from it, so it's cool. 
it's so layered. It's, you know, that's the great thing I think that Blumhouse has been doing. They're, they're really flipping the, the horror genre on its head with, with you know, nuances and there's complexities in the characters and the storylines and there's so many different genres like thrown into this. So I'm really excited about it. And Tate is truly, truly amazing. Um, for this to be my first real set experience and to have someone like Tate who is so encouraging and nurturing and like very generous and, and, and kind, I mean, it like ruins set because I'm like, man, not everyone's gonna be like this. Like Tate is one of a kind and also he's a great chef. Yeah, I would say that it's it's like more of like a teen drama that turns into something that with more layers and then towards the end it turns into a horror movie. So it's like a couple movies in one. Yeah. Oh my gosh, so much fun. I love working on creepy things. Um, I've, I've just done a TV show called Chambers on Netflix. So I'm doing, I'm in this new horror realm and it's so much fun. I love to see how young Sue Ann grew up. You can kind of see what was going on in her brain as a teenager. So it was a lot of fun. Oh my gosh, Tate is so amazing. I've always wanted to be directed by him ever since I watched The Help. So to be able to be there and get direction and just learn from him was so amazing. And I, I cherish that forever. <laughs>